Hello, this is Kelly from Rue Pursuit, and today we're working on a slider, uh, belly band slider. So uh, it's it's a tuck and it's also a slide. So, and, and I mean a belly band pocket, basically. So I've got the supplies here. This is very similar to the other the slider that I did uh, in a previous video, but I, I'm just kind of adding this uh, belly band element to it. So. And I have a, a sheet here, a book page that I'm using to represent my uh, actual, I'm gonna cut this a little shorter, my actual um, page that I would have in my, in my journal. So there's gonna be a couple of elements to it. Uh, we're gonna, this is the base of the belly band. And then we're gonna attach a ribbon to the belly band and you can attach it uh, with a with a staple or with uh, with glue so I'm trying to think or even a ooh a brad maybe I'll do that that might be a little added fun element we can do or an eyelid I suppose you could do as well but today I'm gonna do this hopefully I can get it through both uh, items <laughs> and I just had this one little scrap I'm doing kind of a, a pink a pink theme so there's that and you might need a tool to kind of pierce it before you before you uh, poke it with your brad so I'm gonna go ahead and get my little awl tool and poke that through. Ooh, that's way easier. Stretch it out a little bit. Hopefully that's big enough for this. Ooh. Little thing here. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Well, that looks cute. Just spread those out. And then we're gonna leave this end loose. I suppose I could have attached it to the page, but no, I'm not going to do that. Um, not yet. Uh, so you want to leave this loose until you've attached your tag. So I'm using a tag. And the, you kind of have to do this process where you've created the tag to uh, the, you know, the, <laughs> the size and width that, that you want. And I suppose you could do it this way and do it like so, uh, so maybe I'll do that. I guess it doesn't matter. It depends on if it's your left page or your right page, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna need to cut a slit in this tag that's gonna be the width, and I'm just gonna go with the left side, I decided, and uh, that's the width of this interior ribbon. So you just wanna basically give it give it plenty of space and I also want to say this is a little bit thicker I ended up taking a regular piece of um, scrapbook paper and it was like this thickness and folding it in half just to give it a little stability so cardstock weight is ideal for doing the slider just to give that slider a little stability so all right I said that and I, I could have it overlapping this way, but if I have it closer, a little bit closer, I'm gonna have more room for my decoration. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting my, maybe I'll just mark it with my all, and plenty of room on either side. So it's, you're definitely doing it maybe like one and a half the width of the ribbon that is gonna be your slider ribbon, so. Let me just do this. Use my X-Acto knife. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Who is this crafter? <laughs> and I did it, I did it again, which is I used wet glue and I tell people all the time, don't do that. Don't do the wet glue. All right, what should I do? <laughs> We're gonna fix it. We're gonna go with this. Now, when you do it, don't use um, wet glue. 
So then you won't have that problem. But me, I can never wait for glue to dry. It's like my lifelong uh, problem. And you do want it to be thicker, you know, like this width. You don't want it to just be a thin slit because that, that's not gonna slide very well. So let's just put the ribbon through. And I think it will work best if I, you notice I did it at the bottom. So when I attach, then my slider is going to work like so. So let me get this ribbon out of the way, pull this down. So, you know, you could actually keep it in the book so that it is above the, um, the, above the book as like a tab. So that's kind of cool. And then your bottom. Now, so now I kind of have an idea of where this uh, ribbon line is going to be then I can pay attention to decorating my actual tag. So I'm just gonna add a little, a couple of features to my tag to make it pretty. I'm into this uh, sort of pink, white, and cream sort of theme. So let's pull out the book. I think maybe a flower rose might be nice. Um, that's cute, but too big. Too big. It's not quite what I was intending. I like this. I, you know, these have gone so fast. The ones with without the high gloss on them. I just really like those. Um, and I believe these were Tim Holtz, but who knows? Anyway, uh, what else do we have? So I like these little book page deals. See if I got, I got a, a plant. I got this. I got a tricycle. Another plant. I feel like since I already have the flower, I don't really want to go with. What else do I have? I don't want to go with a plant. That's silly because you can't really have too many plants. But whatever. We're gonna go with this guy. Maybe no. See, I try to get all this stuff set ahead of time, and then, and then I just change my mind. Maybe a tambourine? No. Okay, we're going with this vintage antique deal. Now, should it go this way or this way? It's going to go this way. Hmm. Maybe like that? Okay. So now I'm going to need my ink. So I'm going to have to ink up my, my paper here. My little inky, inky, inky guy. This is my tea stained guy. And I do think it helps to kind of ink. If you do the ink stain, I mean, it looks better if you ink stain everything on your page. Everything just kind of goes together a little better. A little better. Maybe even my my tag. That's a crazy idea, right? All right, maybe in there a little bit. Get rid of that white showing. Okay, so I've got my ribbon. And I've got my little paper here and I've got my flower and so I'm going to glue those down because I like, I like it. I like it. And just using my art glitter glue today. So I'm getting to the end of my fabric. Fix, Fabric Fix glue. I'm gonna put that on a little bit of, an, of an angle. And I do like to put things on here in groups of three. So. Really don't need much of this glue at all. Oh, there's a little uh, cut out piece in there that didn't, cut, didn't get cut out. Got it, okay. So now we'll add the flower 
to it. And then, of course, I like to add a little bit, um, you know, threes, items in threes. So do we have any labels, maybe? Oh, this is cute. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. And I suppose I need a little tag or ribbon. I've got some baker's twine here we could use for our tag. So we're just going to... Am I holding that very, not very good? You know why? Because I punched it when it was wet. <laughs> I'm just here to show you what not to do. See? <laughs> it's my gift to you. My gift of what not to do. All right, so I think I'm going to uh, double this. And, oop. Ooh, Baker's Twine. Why do you have to be that way? Okay. So, oh, I could do it this way. Why not? That works. That works. Maybe a couple knots. It's kind of longer than I wanted. I guess I could just trim it off. Oh, waste not want not. <laughs> All right. Okay, I could trim a little bit off. Whatever. Okay. So I, I don't want, that's fine. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get this all sorted and organized. Things out of the way. So we can see what this is actually gonna look like. Okay, so we've got our page. We've got our belly band. We've got our tag. We'll give it a little room over here. And we've got our ribbon. So we have our tag attached. So I think it's okay to uh, put the, the final uh, brad in. We're gonna use white again. Do with our pink theme. And then we just put that right through like that. Lovely. And attach it. And then I am going to use my uh, Fabrifix because it's my fast drying friend. It's the fastest drying in the West. And we have some fabric here. So we actually are using our Fabrifix for our actual fabric to fabric, fabric the paper <laughs> instead of just paper to paper like I do most of the time with my fabric glue because it's fabulous for that. Okay, make it straight. Straight is good. And then we're just gonna hold it in place for a couple seconds. And there we have it. Whew, this is cute. Now you wanna make one of these, I can tell, because that is adorable. So yeah, basically that's our, our tag. And then of course, you know, you've got some kind of big, beautiful piece of ephemera that you just don't know what to do with, which happens. And this isn't really, it's okay, but it's giant. Oh, and it's wavy too. I don't think I used the fabric fix glue on that one. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. Okay. So just maybe fold this baby in half. This is one I worked on. This is from that Lavinia Stamps. I, I like that YouTube channel. But anyway, so you can put that in there, this way or that way. You've got your slider, so you can see what's underneath. Pretty great. Pretty good. So, that's exciting. Ooh, this might be, this one would match this. And go with this page quite nicely. Here we go. Ooh, how about this way? So now we're, now we're cracking. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, this turned out so cute. 
all right you have to do this so i know it's very close to the one i i did before but it's just different enough that uh that i think you're gonna appreciate doing it this way um is is also um a, a different idea so all right as always thanks for coming along and if you haven't checked out the uh giveaway that i've got going on right now it's we're very close to the deadline that you can enter uh and there's 20 winners so I uh, hope you get in before the deadline. All right. Well, thanks for coming along. Talk to you later.